So coming uh, on your mat, and you are all there, and start with a nice wide-legged child's pose. So first we will stretch up and then come forward, down, all the way, and start pushing your hips back, forehead down, and just start breathing here. and feeling into the body, how you feel in this nice, beautiful stretch out after maybe a long day, whatever you have been doing, if you were at home or out working or not, doesn't matter. I'm sure this is a pose you haven't done today. So now just try to open it up, stretch it, Observe your breath here. And today there is going to be a little bit more active part where we stand up to do some hip openers. But first, just really let go. <sighs> and then start moving your right hand over to the left on top of your left hand and even further past your left hand and come into this nice stretch here. And then slowly travel with the right hand back to its place and then travel with the left hand over to the right side. And then slowly back and coming up. Come on to all fours and start cat and cow in inhaling and exhaling. A very beautiful warm-up position. No matter how many times you do, you will always feel it. It is opening you up. Do a few more. And now three, two, and on the last one, tuck your toes under, press into your hands, push back first, and then up into downward facing dog. Paddle your feet, breathe. And just hold it. Breathing into the belly. It's always good to observe where you breathe. Is your belly filling up when you breathe in? Or is your chest? Very good, nice one. One more, push your sit bones up. And then we're gonna come into squat. So step forward and come down into squat. A nice hip opener. We should never miss a hip opener class with a squat because it's really um, beneficial for you. Breathe. Then we're going to put the hands down and start moving right and left. First, just a small movement, and then start moving a little bit more into the hips. 
with the hips moving. And then stay on one side a little bit, few breaths here, feeling that opening, and then stay on the other side and stay on the first and then the other. Very good. Now from here, maybe you want to widen a little bit and come up halfway where your elbows are on your knees and move side to side again. And then now your hands are on your knees, move side to side. And maybe circle your hips. Ooh, that was my hip. Ooh. Other way. These creaks and cracks that you hear in the hips, they, these are okay, normal. Yeah. And then move again side to side. Now you might feel your knees are a bit, yeah. Oops, yes. <laughs> Some sound coming from there. Well done. That's fine. And then slowly roll yourself up. Arms up, stretching up. And hands back down. Release, release. And now hip circles again. In any way you need to keep your feet wider or not so wide. Other way, feel the hips. And then side to side. Very good. And then keep now the feet together in the Tadasana. Engage your buttocks, engage your core, shoulders back and down, open chest, feet grounded. Close your eyes. Have five breaths here. Imagine growing the roots down. Into the earth. Three. Two. Last one. And then interlace your fingers. Stretch up and come and bend down to the right. Stay there for a few breaths. Press into your hands, away, breathe. Inhale center, press into the hands and left. Press into the feet, stretch out. Very good. And then from here, come back and open your legs into goddess, coming down, not too low, but feel into the hips now and breathe nicely, pulling in the core and up, opening the chest, and then coming up to stand. This time, the feet are facing forward. Nicely breathe. And now coming into triangle on the right side, right foot goes out, and then start coming down, 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 and up. Open chest and breathe. Left hand comes down, turn the hips towards the right leg and come into pyramid. Head comes down. Nicely breathe here again. Moon salutations we are doing. Very good. Now push your left leg back, come into low lunge. Running pose, looking forward.
Very good. Now, this is a little bit tricky as you will turn on your right foot and sit down on your right heel. The right heel is lifted. Okay, so stay here. So the knee is in between the hands, hands down, right heel lifted, buttocks down on the right heel, left foot is just pressed into the mat. Don't worry if it's a little bit tricky now, because it can be. Now bring your hands back and slowly push yourself up, but hips stay down and hands to heart, very low. Now this is to challenge yourself. Try to keep yourself straight. Yeah, so you are not bending forward like this. Straight up. Yes, straight. And then bend your left knee, come down on the left side now, the same way you did on the right, bending the knee, totally bend and sit down on the heel, looking forward. Now from here, back into the running pose on the left side. So we are going backwards. And pull the right foot up. Pyramid pose on the left, so nicely stretch the spine downwards. Breathe. Very good. Now coming back up with the left foot turned out, arms out to the side and back into the triangle on the left. So reach out and come down. Back up again into our star position. And then the goddess, sit down a little bit, wide opening, pull the belly. And then bring your legs back together, palms together and you're gonna bend to the right first. Center and the left. And then back again, hands to heart and release and hip circles. Good. Very good. Okay. And now a balancing pose, which is called standing pigeon. Bending the right knee quite well. Bring, put the left foot on the right knee and sit down. Trying to really push this knee downwards. Try to keep the spine straight. The tailbone is pushing down, pointing down, hands to heart. Flex your left foot. Breathe. Pull the belly. Two more breaths. Nice one. One more. Release and up. Other leg, sit down, have a foot on the knee, sit down, tailbone pointing down, pull belly, flex the right foot, oops, and breathe. One more. And release, release, and we are back into the squat. Again, this is 
is really beneficial. If you can hold the squat for two minutes, that you will feel and you will really feel it tomorrow as well. So it's very good for you to do that. So we have a few more breaths here. And then coming back down, release with skin diapers. Okay, so now coming into the butterfly, staying now on the floor. So coming to butterfly. You can always sit on a pillow because this will bring and elevate your spine. But you don't have to. If you feel this is not helping, don't do it. But if it's helping, do it. Okay, so when you are just there, just feel your hips, opening your book. This is your book, so open your book. This will help opening your hips as well, sitting up and press your sit bones down. Breathe here. Sit up and with your exhale, you start coming forward. You are not rushing at all. Come forward. No rush. No rush. And we stay here for a minute. So no rush at all. Breathe. And releasing here, feeling that the hips are starting to open up. You are just starting to open up in the hips. And have another three breaths here. Last one. Very, very slowly back up. Very slowly. And release with the windscreen wipers. Okay, now bring your left foot inward and the right will go back. Sit up, this is called deer. Yeah, it's very similar, not similar, but it's the easier uh, version of pigeon, which we are going to do after. So I'm just showing you this. If you have problems with the pigeon, you can always just do this pose and not the, the full pigeon. But first we are just sitting up. Now, sometimes it can be that you are not uh, straight up, you are like a little bit side, sided. So then you can sit on the cushion with your left buttocks up. And then you can feel a bit more straighter. But if you don't need, don't worry. And then slowly come and again bend forward down.
breathing a few more times here before we go into pigeon. So not yet. So this is what you are going to do. You will stretch your right leg back and come into pigeon, but not just yet. Just letting go. If you want, you just stay in here. If you think pigeon is not something you want to do today. Very good. Few more breaths. I'm going sideways because I have more space. So from here, you start pushing that right leg back and you actually come up. Uh, to square your hips to the side now towards your left knee and try to keep your left uh, foot a little bit further away from your groins only if that's okay if you want challenge otherwise just you know bring the foot towards the groin and first what we try to do is straighten up feel that stretch this is a much more intense stretch Breathe. And then start moving your hands down to come into sleeping pigeon. And you know that this weekend is very busy because of, on Sunday we have a yin yoga and yoga nidra class, uh, one and a half hour. So 6.30 to 8. Hopefully you can attend. And in the morning there is a nice dynamic hatha yoga class. So try to attend both of them on the day and you will have a great day. And tomorrow is our first lunchtime yoga because uh, we will have a class in the evening, a yin yoga, but the lunchtime will be a nice dynamic class. A few more breaths here. And very slowly back up. And do your windscreen wipers. Great, and then the other leg. So this time, right leg in front, left back, the pose. Sitting up first, get the posture right. and then start coming down. And I hope you are also enjoying the meditations on Monday and Wednesday, like this morning we had, 9.30 to 10, only half an hour, but it really can make a difference in your day. And very slowly back up, going into pigeon. I'm going sideways, trying to keep the foot away from the groins as much as you can. Don't struggle too much. First, you just try to square your hips to the front, sitting up, nicely looking forward, open chest, breathe.
press that left hip down. So to square the hips, then come forward into sleeping. Last inhalation, last exhalation. Slowly start pushing up and back into windscreen wipers. Okay, very good. Lie down on your back. And now your so what is it, strap is by your side, but first. Just lie down and bring your knees to your chest. Hug your knees, rock from side to side. And then hands down, circle the knees in and out. Three, two, one, opposite way. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then hug your knees again. And then stretch your legs up, circle the ankles, getting ready to bring the left leg down on the side. Arms out to the side so you feel comfortable. And then the right leg also down on the left. And then right leg back up, left leg back up. Right leg down, left leg down. And then up and up. And do two more each side, left down, right down. Right up. Left up, right down, left down, left up, right up, and then one more. Left, right, right up, left up, right down, left down, left up, and the right. Okay, now bring your legs down, grab your strap, start on the right side. So what we do first, left leg will be straight, right leg straight, and try to press into the heel, so the heel is pushing up, so the leg will get nice and straight. But then you will try to bend the knee, bend it to your chest so not out to the side to your chest and then push it back up and bend trying to pull it down like in happy baby and then back up and then down pull it pull it pull it as much as you can and back up left leg also straight and flex the foot and then do three more pull down and push up Pull down and push up. And now we pull it down and hold, hold, hold it there. I know it's a nice one. You will feel it. Nicely try to push that left foot away. The left heel pushed away. The right heel is still pushed, uh, like facing up, pointing up. Very good. And then straighten that leg and hold there a little bit. Try to just um, pull it towards you, stretching the way. 
Breathe. Keep the legs straight as much as you can. Micro bending is okay, yeah? But the idea is to try to keep the legs straight and then we'll bring the right leg down to the side, nice and slowly, 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 all the way. No need to touch the floor. If they want, if this foot wants to touch the floor, that's fine, but it's not so important. Turn the head to the left. Nicely relax here. Feel that relaxation. Coming on to your hips. Have five more breath, pulling that right leg towards your head, yeah? Not pushing it down, just towards your head up or three, two, one, bend the knee and then bring that leg back, release the leg and Little release. We are going to put that strap back on the right leg. So same leg and we bring the leg down to the left now. Hold the belt in the left and bring it down. And a nice twist here. You can use a scarf as well, you know that. It's a bit late, I know. <laughs> If the leg doesn't touch the floor again, no problem at all. It's your yoga, your body, your leg. Open chest towards the ceiling. Right arm and shoulder down as much as you can. One breath here. And again, before coming back, bend the right knee, bring it back like that. And just circle the right knee. The right knee circling. Nice, big circles. Opposite way, big circles. And then release and just hold it there, feeling the difference between sides. Hmm. Good to work with the hips. They really deserve more uh, TLC, <laughs> as you say. So now the left leg. So remember we did this pulling down the knee. So we do this a few times. So first, make sure that the right heel is pushed away. The left heel is also pushed up to the ceiling and then start bringing the knee down as much as you can. First, it's just gentle and then push back up. And then the second, maybe more pulling 
pulling, pulling, and then up. And then carry on. And now harmonize it with your breath. Exhale, pull down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, pull down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. One more. Exhale to the chest. Yeah. And then stretch up. Hold it there. Legs straight, both of them. Breathe. Press the heel up and the other heel away. And then pull that leg towards you, trying to stretch both. Breathe. And then we're going to bring that left leg down to the left. Again, just let it fall down. Don't try to push. Keep that right hip down as well. And turn the head to the right. Hold there. Try not to uh, have tension in the left leg. So just relax the left leg. Five more breaths here, nicely in. Really enjoy that stretch. Three, two, one. Bend the knee before you bring it back. Release. First, just release. And we are going to bring this leg down to the right. So again, up. Hold it in your right hand and bring it down all the way to the right. Turn the head to the left, nice twist. You want to try to again bring this leg up towards the head. Observe the body and the breath. And when you are ready now, start bringing that left leg back. And circle the left knee and just feel into the hips. Very good. Opposite way, circle. And release the legs and just shake them out a little bit. And then re uh, shake them out in the, in the air. Shake, shake, shake. We have some time left. Shake out, shake out. And now we're going to sit up and do some right legged forward bend. We love that. I know you find this one probably the hardest. 
big opener, I know, but it's okay. Just do as much as you can. It's everyone's body is different, yeah? So opening up wide, sitting up maybe on a cushion, it's always advisable because it will elevate your spine. Yeah, nice one, sit up. Okay, so we start going sideways down. So we go down to the right, left arm up, and just stay there for a little bit. Maybe you want to go lower as much as you can. Try to keep that left hip down, flexing the feet. Remember that, three more breaths. Two, one, and from here you turn down towards the leg. So the chest is towards the leg and hold there. Two more. Last, and then slowly push up, very good. And then we go down to the left now, left arm down, right arm up. Have a few breaths here, trying to keep the right sit bone down this time. Breathe. Four. Three. Two, one, turning towards the left leg, open up here, four more. Two, one, and then coming in the middle. And stay here for a minute. So nicely, just settle down. Three more. Two more. And start coming back up. Very good. Nice one. Windscreen wipers. Left knee in, right knee in. Just feel that release in the hips. Then we come into shoelace, where you can have the half shoelace as well. So right leg can be stretched out, left on top, and right leg can come back up, under, and sitting up. So when we are sitting in this pose, try to bring that knee down, sit up. Nice. Sitting up, feel that different sensations in the hips after all, all the way opening. So now we need to close them, the opposite stretch. And we are going to stretch right and left. So arms up. Stretching up, coming down to the right, keeping the sit bones down. And five breaths. Try to go low, but 
still having the sit bones firmly grounded. Three. One. Let's have three more here. It's very good stretch. I feel I need more time on this side. And slowly coming to the other side. So nicely, slowly. The other side, you will feel very different to this side. Remember that it's normal. From here, we're going to come forward as well. So coming nice and slowly down. Then back up slowly. Okay. Before we change windscreen wipers. And the change will be that your left leg will be under, so you can keep the left leg stretched out, right over, or left leg under. Try to lock the knees, knees down in front on top of the other knee. You are not sitting on your um, feet. You are just sitting on sit bones. Sit up, feel. And then come down to the left. So left hand down, right up and go down. Look up to the ceiling. You can also close your eyes. Three more, two, last, and then go to the other side. Slowly, other side. Very different to this side. Breathing to the stretch, always try to. Deepen it with your exhale. Your breath is the gateway inside to connect with yourself. And then coming forward down and stay here for a minute. One more breath here. And slowly up. And we're gonna lie down. 
So let's do a little windscreen wipers and then lie down and continue the windscreen wipers until you just stop on one side and feel into the hips. Again, you worked very hard and really your hips will say thank you so much for all these things you did today because we hold a lot of tension there. We don't even notice and these, these hip openers, these hip exercises, they help a lot. And then the other side, they help a lot to reduce that tension in the hips. And we hold the tension. And then bring the legs up again, a little bit circle to ease out of ways. And then legs down and just let go in your Shavasana. Maybe shake out the legs, shake out the body, lengthen your spine. Close your eyes, make sure you never miss Shavasana, your last position. It's very important. And rest. Just say thank you to yourself. You turn up again today. It's only one hour each day, but it can make and do miracles in your life if you don't miss it. Yeah, because yoga only works if you turn up. If you don't turn up, it doesn't work. And every day a little goes a long way. So don't need to do every day a lot, but one hour is really not a lot to ask from yourself to try and take care. You are taking care. Feeding also not just your body, but feeding your soul. In these moments you are connected to the one that is the most important. Now just observe your breathing in the belly as it rises and falls. One minute remaining in this course.
and start deepening your breaths. Deeper inhale, deeper exhale. And again, deep inhale, fully exhale. Move fingers and toes. Stretch the body. Ah. Hug the knees when you are ready. You know what to do exactly. Rock yourself. Rock yourself down to the right or left, whichever. And then sit up slowly, hands to heart. And the chanting, inhale. Oh. Shanti, 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 Thank you all for coming tonight again and Namaste. Remember, we have Monday and Wednesday new meditation class. And tomorrow at 12.30, come for, uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> come for a nice uh, dynamic flow as normal, you know, just, just a nice 